Hey guys, I am reviewing the Bellamia High Precision Oil Dispenser. Now you can use this thing for anything. You could use it for your oils. I am personally going to use it for the holidays. I'm also thinking, hey, this would be great to make my own salad dressings. Um, you can put olive oil in there, whatever you want. And you could even put syrups in there. So that way, you know, hey, you go to some of the restaurants, they have syrups. Me, personally, I'm just going to probably use this to make something. I'm thinking of what I can use it for for the holidays. We have our wonderful holiday where I'm going to be in the kitchen a lot here in the next, next week, actually. And this is really nice. You've got the stainless steel, and then you have the glass. And this screws off. can't really do it with one hand or I would show you. But this screws off. And if you see any of my photos on my blog or, or anything, it will show you the picture. This is really easy to screw off. I just can't do it with one hand. But this is really great. You know, when you're cooking, you don't want to have to screw the cap off of something, you know, to pour it. This is already, keep it. Um, it, I don't, I use olive oil here and there, but then I use spray olive oil, so that way I don't use too much, because I get a little olive oil happy, and olive oil is not very cheap to be pouring a bunch of it in, so I try to just spray when I'm sauteing something just a little bit, and so it's really, really nice, and this I can keep by up on my stove or something or if i'm gonna make it into a salad dressing i'm gonna keep this <clears throat> excuse me in my fridge i really think i'm probably leaning more towards the salad dressing type because when i get salad dressings and stuff they're either too much of something or so much sodium and i don't like a lot of sodium when i'm eating a salad i want to feel healthy and so i thought about looking up some salad recipes another thing i thought about looking up is my grandfather used to make these pepper sauce and it's not like your pepper sauce like your red pepper sauce it was he would have like um vinegar or something in it and he would soak um different spicy peppers in it and we would use it to drizzle over our turnip greens or black eyed peas you know total southern and so most of you guys know what i'm talking about and I wondered, and I'm wanting to try this because it does have the opening right there. I don't know if you can see it. If I could possibly try to make that in there. I'm not sure. I need a couple of more of these. I might have to get me some more. Because these are really nice. And I've had so many ideas of what I want to do with them. It's just like you can just be so creative. And, you know, and healthy and creative are like two wonderful combinations. And... I just love it. I really do. I've been sitting here trying to think, hmm, what can I make with it? And I know I'm going to do something with it next week for the holidays. And so if anybody leaves me comments or messages and stuff and wants to know how that turns out, you know, leave me a comment and I'll try to get you some pictures of it if you want to know what I make with it. All right, this is $13.76 on Amazon. I did receive this product for free from my unbiased and honest review, guys. And I will leave you the link below. Thanks.